Alright, so a few weeks ago I was watching Dusty Smith's newest video on why there were so many female Christians and preachers in the church. Just... Now, naturally, this piqued my interest as well. More than to say, re-piqued my interest, since the religion that they're advocating clearly views them as unworthy in the eyes of the Lord. Yet, despite the various verses in the Bible that place blame on women for the corruption of society, which, by the way, was already, was already corrupt, even without women's help, and that it, and that proclaim, they proclaim that women should essentially be mannequins in church and at home, and that men are saintly and supreme, and all-knowing, just like God, more and more women keep going back towards the light. And this light is basically a deity that is not only jealous, but also petty and narcissistic and straight-up psychopath. Let's be for real. Any god that will create a flood to just completely obliterate the entire planet just because they were all they weren't doing what he wanted them to do even though he himself instilled those quote unquote sinful attributes into them any god with the capability of doing something like that is clearly not worthy of worship And the fact that there are so many, and then the fact that there are female preachers who are just, who are basically advocating a religion that, again, views them as unworthy in the eyes of the Lord, just baffles me. Because why in all hell would you, as a woman, be a quote-unquote soldier in the army of a god who's pretty much a misogynist? who pretty much says that it wasn't the man that was deceived, but the woman who was deceived. And that there is no wickedness that's so powerful and great than the wickedness of a woman. Why in all hell would you be all for that? I mean, are you just doing this because... Are you just doing this because you want to, or is it because you feel the need to protect your fellow women from the many dangers and the many sins that plague this world. And while I'm on the subject, let's t and while I'm on the subject, I want to talk about the fact that there are a lot of black Christians, especially in the South. Why so many black people would would choose to stay faithful to a religion that not only approves of slavery, but was used as a tool by one group by one by one group of people to subjugate and just dehumanize their ancestors it is a mystery beyond me because this religion was not only browbeaten into them, but it was also just tortured into them, beaten into them. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if it was burned into them. And yet, you're just so hell-bent on keeping this religion alive. A religion that just does not give a fuck about you as a race. Why? Now, before you start off your comment saying, "Hey, not all black Christians are 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 quit. Not all black Christians are fucked up in the head, and not all female Christians are are advocating Stockholm syndrome and everything." Keep in mind that I am not bashing all Christians. I know that I know lots of I know a lot of I know a lot of women, and I know a lot of black Christians that are not insane. 
I know that there's a lot of people that do not, I know there's a lot of Christians that do not want to force their beliefs. They just want to live their lives just like anybody else. I have no problem with that. So please, save the keystrokes. Do not waste your keystrokes typing that comment out, okay? This is, this video is geared towards Christians that seem to think that if people don't have a quote-unquote higher power to guide them, and it has to be the right higher power because if you don't, if, because if you don't recognize the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as your master, then you're about, then you're going to hell in a handbasket. And why? How can you not just define yourself outside of your religion? I mean, have you just become so entrenched by the beliefs that it propagates? I don't even know if I said that correctly, but whatever. Have you just become so intertwined with the teachings and the doctrines that thinking a single thought that doesn't pertain to it is alien to you? Or are you just concerned with what your family and your friends think? Because if you, if you do, then you might need to take a good long hard look at yourself and ask yourself why in the hell are you committing yourself to 